What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? Let's talk Detroit Lions versus the Vikings, man. Um, question mark game for me. Don't really know how this game is going to go. We're missing Kenny Galladay. Uh, so what will Matthew Stafford be able to do? Uh, will the offense be able to provide a running game today? Will Adrian Peterson come out on fire today against the Vikings? Um, you know, like I said, it's a thing between him, him, Bevel, and um, obviously Everson Griffin. So they should be e extra motivated today to see what we should see uh, what they uh what they plan to do today. <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, you know, they can use that fuel to fuel us to a victory. Uh, but with Kenny Galladay out, man, um, you know, that, that really sucks. Uh, no Kenny, no Trey Flowers, you know, things like that, man. Just annoy the hell out of me. Um, first team reps so far has been True Font and Okuda. Listen, I love the rookie. I love Okuda. Um, but this is the boneheaded stuff that I talk about with the Detroit Lions. In no way, shape, or form should Okuda be starting over Amani over Warrior. It's no way that he should be starting over him. Yes, he should play. He should not be starting over Amani O. If that is the plan, which it looks like, um, yeah, it's the boneheaded stuff that I'm talking about, man. Uh, hopefully, TJ Hawkinson can have a big day. Him, Jesse James, if they decide to go to the tight ends day. Y'all know it's uh, not consistent. So, uh, yeah. But I don't know if my guys are in here. I want to shout out some new members to the channel. Uh, Vernon Williams. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, the least suspected. Brian. Uh... And most of all, Mr. Jacob Reminger, you are a king of kings, brother. I appreciate that. Um, all the new members that join the membership to my channel, man. Um, that's what that's what these live streams will be aimed towards. I'll be doing a private um, members only live for you guys this week. Um, so definitely look forward to that. I'll be sending you guys the link. Uh, you'll be able to message back and forth and uh, we'll have that chat and um, yeah, some of the perks of being a member, man. Um, but thank you guys for your membership. I really appreciate that. Um, so Detroit Lions versus the Vikings, man. Who do I think is going to win this game? <sighs> I want to say the Lions, man. I want to, but with the pieces that we missing and the coaching staff that we got, I'm not really sure about that, man. I'm not really sure about that. You know, like I said, the Vikings probably have some confidence unless they totally are just giving up on the season. It's gonna, it's not gonna be easy at all. Um, you know, even though their quarterback is a bum <laughs> and they got a bunch of kids in the uh, secondary, the Lions will do something like don't take advantage of that. <laughs> and keep giving the ball to Adrian Peterson or something like that. That's what the Lions coaching staff do, man. They just, they can't get right at all. They never take advantage of their advantage. It, it makes no sense to me, um, but that's just what we have. So get ready today to be annoyed by something. Something is going to annoy the hell out of you today. Um, yeah, man. And for all of the Michigan and Michigan State fans out there, man, we are uh, we both bleeding right now after them performances we seen. <laughs> that was horrible yesterday. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, me too, man. I, I cannot wait uh to see what Mr. Everson Griffin gonna do, man. Those comments that he was having. Um sound like he was pretty pissed off uh by, you know, Zimmerman calling him a good player instead of a great player, which he is. Um so, yeah, you can just check that guy's ready to E Dog, man, appreciate the donation. What do you got for me? Will you do a live for the Pistons draft as well? Heck yeah, you know I'm doing that. As much as I can't stand the Pistons right now, you know I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to keep up with my, my traditions, man. And um, we definitely going to have a draft party night like, like usual, man. Um, hearing a lot of weird things could happen in that draft, which means they probably won't because every time we hear that, nothing happens. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely right, man. Yeah, the run D. I think the run D is going to show up today. My problem is, is the offensive line going to show up today? Because they, they weren't here last game. I don't know where they was at. That wasn't the same offensive line we had all season. What's up, Vash? What's up, King? Long time. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that a lot. You already know they're not firing Patricia, man. It's one of the, the few things that I agree with the, the radio guys, the 97.1 ticket guys, man. They're not going to fire that, man. Until the end of the season, they probably still won't. <laughs> now, Sheila proven to be the same thing as everything else before. So, you know, they're not going to do that, man. You think we get to dub today? Hopefully we do, man. But like I said, just looking at the, the, the roster and what we missing, I don't know, man. I don't know. That makes no sense to me, though. True Font starts coming back. To me, True Font as will have to work his way back into the start lineup for being a, a, such an injury-prone bum. <laughs> But you're going to start him and Okuda instead of him and Amani, who's been absolutely solid the whole season. The whole season. Makes no sense to me, man. That type of stuff like that make players frustrated and don't want to be around. Mm -hmm. That's the type of stuff that pissed players off with Matt Patricia and his, his staff, man. That type of stuff right there. That's what, like I said, when when when... Quandre was here and he was pointing out the fact that, you know, the stuff that they was doing was not giving them the best opportunity to win football games. Him and Snacks both said that. So it's the same thing that I've been saying on my videos. It makes no sense. A fee swift. We'll see. We're going against the Vikes and, you know, it's Adrian Peterson's day. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get more than, than five snaps uh, for, for Swift. <laughs> what up? What up? Man, he why they gonna they he ain't limited. Watch, he gonna mess around it, man. Like I said, I don't wish bad on nobody, man. But his health is man ugh, all the time, dude. Buckets, what's up, my guy? What's going on, man? What's going on, Mister Cole? I'm trying to stick with Twitter, man. All right, Joe, I appreciate you for stopping by, man. Just wanted to come chat with y'all before the game right quick. What's up? What's going on, brother? So, I don't know, man. We'll see. To me, NFL Twitter is... No, it's not. NBA Twitter is worse, man. It is worse. NFL fans, the fan base is worse. But Twitter is not. I don't understand it. Why? It's like that. Um... NFL Twitter is, is is bad, but it's not as bad as NBA. I will say at least in our uh, state. Because, uh, man, these Pistons fans, they oh, my God. They are so delusional. So <laughs> delusional. And we Lions fans. But they're so delusional on Twitter, man. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, wow. You a lucky man, Michael. You a lucky man, brother. <laughs> Authentic joint. Uh, yeah, that's one thing we got to do more of, man, is turn the ball over. I kept hoping for one last game, like somebody punch a ball out or something. All he wants to seem like he be wanting to punch the ball out of his Trey Flowers half the time, man. 
we need some uh we need Coleman to get himself in sync, man, so we can start creating some turnovers, man. Him and you know Harmon back there. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, man, it's horrible. It's horrible, man. But I got to keep chugging along, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the easiest covering Detroit teams, bro. It's not. It's not an easy job. You got to have a gut for it because you got to deal with a lot of frustrated and emotional fans, man. And, and it gets real. It gets real sometimes. Yeah, Stafford plan. He's clear. He'll be starting today. This test has been negative uh, throughout the week. Yeah, man, we'd be all right. Who said Matt Millen was... Who said that? <laughs> who said that, he dog? But see, you know, and listen, we all, we all feel you. We feel you, Makai. But we know the Lions. They never do that, dude. They gonna throw Marvin Hall in for one or two plays. You see what I'm saying? They never stretch the field out on a team they should. Last game, they should have been stretching the field out. But guess what? The offensive line that decided to take a lunch break in the middle of the game. That's what happened. You didn't even have time for the plays to set up downfield. Man, they don't feed the young monster, man. Any other team with him catching long balls like that, they'll exploit it like crazy. Not the Lions, though. Ah, oh, that's what's up, Ethan. Probably. I don't see the Jets beat nobody. They probably the next 0 16 team, brother. I don't see them beat nobody, be honest. I really don't. Yeah, because he was doing the wrong rust package, man. I was I was talking about that in my last video. You have you put Swift in the game and you try to run him up the gut when your offensive line is getting destroyed by the front four. No, that's not going to work. You don't you don't create a run game up the middle when your, your offensive line is crumbling. The Lions act like they don't know what a toss play is. <laughs> I swear they don't, man. And if you can't get that going, short pass out the backfield. That's how you create some run game right there. Even though it's not officially run game, but that's you got to create something. You know what I'm saying? And we we guys, we we're guys on the street watching this game. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. And they cannot figure out simple stuff. Simple stuff. Oh. He got out coached up and down. Up and down. The whole staff got out coached. <laughs> this last game was not a talent level thing. You got out coached. Simple and plain. Flat out. <laughs> you got straight, strictly out coached. I've been barking this all season long. All season long. I've been telling people that your co coaching staff is, is absolutely incompetent. Because when people like me and these other YouTubers and, and people that's on Twitter that go back and actually watch the games again, watch some footage, I don't understand what the hell they doing out there, to be honest. I really don't. I get confused watching. I think I get dumber every time I watch one of them them uh one of them games over. I think I get more and more dumber. <laughs> Because, dude, they don't they don't take advantage of anything. It's like they're trying to lose. I swear to you, it's like they're trying to lose. They don't. I, I don't know. Going across the uh, attack in the middle is a, a cuss word to the Detroit Lions. 
They do not want to attack the middle of the field for some reason. I don't understand it, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't, man, I don't get it. They, they hate playing in the shorts. They do. They are horrible. <laughs> What do you think of E? What is what is EDP four forty five? You can't tell the Lions that. That's what you make deals with people to bring them here and tell them they're gonna get the ball, and now you holding up to it. Uh. I don't watch this content, man. I never checked them out. I'm gonna have to check his content out. I, don't, I have not checked them out. You know, I used to do the back and forth, you know what I'm saying, with the other YouTubers and stuff like that. I really don't do that no more. Because the Lions, they, you know, they, they'll embarrass your life. So, <laughs> I don't really, uh, I don't do it like I used to uh, years ago. You said he funny, I'm gonna check him out. He made a video, I don't wanna see it if he made a video twerking, what, what? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I don't wanna see it. Grown ass man twerking, I don't wanna see that. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he just said in the comments, man. I'm like, what? Nah, I wanna watch him now. I'm good on that, brother. Oh, okay, it's a joke for his channel, okay. I think uh, by protocol, I don't know how the rules go when you sign somebody. No, I mean, y'all do, because we did with Everson. I, Sanu going to have to wait a game, I think. Yeah, so I think Sanu is going to have to wait a game. I think you got to wait a, a week at least when you sign with a team, if I'm not mistaken, with the, uh, the COVID-19 uh, protocol. Lions got this game. I hope you're right, Carlos. I hope you're right, man. Get ready to indulge in this mud in about five minutes. Hey, whether y'all know it or not, Everson Griffin, man, on them sidelines is an absolute animal, bro. <laughs> My man be clowning. He will fire you up. I will tell you that. Nor does he sound nothing like he looks or plays either. He's another Indomitian Sioux type of guy. <laughs> will kill you, but then sound like you talk to a science professor <laughs> when you speak to him. Oh, man, dude voice does not match him at all. But he gets fired up when it's game time, man. Yeah, take too old, bro. It's over with. It's over with for take. We don't need to bring no more old play. We do not need to keep doing the Detroit and bringing players here when they too old. He's too old. Let him be. We have guys that can uh that can play that position, man. Lions losing this game. Hey, I can't even argue with you, Mr. Hopkins. Hoskins. I can't, man. Like I said, I don't think, I don't know if they're going to win this game or not. I just don't know. I don't know what type of team we're going to get today or what type of game plan they're going to draw up today. Yeah. Yeah, animal, bro. 
to get somebody motivated. Him, Shelton. Shelton like to talk too, man. Big Shelton. Um, you know, something that the Lions just some of them players ain't used to, man. Everybody be quiet. Like Matthew Stafford, you know what I'm saying? Be quiet. Matthew Stafford, I say all the time, need to stop being such a great teammate. All the time. When that offensive line is playing like that, he need to get in their ass. You understand me? Do you understand what, what Tom Brady does when his team, when his, especially his offensive line, are not up to par? He gets all in there behind. That's what Matthew Stafford needs to do. Stop being such a great teammate. What's good, Finau? He needs to stop being such a great teammate, man. Get in that behind. I'm getting put on the ground. I'm getting, I'm cussing everybody out. Yeah, he do, man. He need to, flat out. I'm throwing helmets, knocking over Gatorade, everything. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers gonna block. Stuck. That that what we saw last game was almost similar to the Vikings when they had Everson Griffin. That's what that was similar to. Matthew Stafford literally was in danger of getting sacked every play, every single play. And then you you got your fan base here to here come what I was talking about. Here they come. Oh man, that game it, that was Matthew Stafford's fault. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. I got to try to contain myself on Twitter for cussing somebody out for just being ignorant, <laughs> just being dumb. That's just dumb. You did not watch the football game at all. Man, like, dude, like, come on, man. Like, this dude literally was running for his life every play. <laughs> they was having a party back there in our backfield. And you gonna blame this man? Did you not see what happened to Aaron Rodgers when he played against the Buccaneers? I don't care if you're a great quarterback or a Hall of Fame quarterback. I don't give a damn who you are. Aaron Rodgers was back there looking like a damn rookie by the time Dominic and Sue them got done mushing him and throwing him to the ground. <laughs> yes, man, they listen to Mike Villani too damn much on ninety-seven point one. They really do. Mike, Mike, sometimes he tell it like it is, but. Sometimes he just go too far. He just, he go overboard, man. It'd be for radio purposes. Like, it ain't like we don't know that. So, um, he go, he go a little too far. Right. Like I said, you can't, what you want him to block for himself and then throw? Or he can't run for his life and throw the ball all the way. Even though he did flick a few down the field after running. But, I mean, come on, bro. This man is not Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not that athletic. I mean, God. <laughs> yeah, 97 1, they get on my damn nerves, man. Especially Mike, man. Mike just, I just want to punch Mike sometimes, dude. I swear I do. I swear I do, man. <sighs> All right, man, it's game time, man. Uh, you fellas, man, y'all go ahead and enjoy this game. Make sure you watch the game thoroughly. So when we do come on here afterwards, uh, yeah. <laughs> watch the game thoroughly, man. It's game time. Let's go one pride. i see y'all in a minute. 